Hello, welcome back everyone to BYOC. My name is Ramses and joining me today is I studying for the post tournament interview. First of all, congratulations. Thank you very much, dude. Thank you very much. Um, and let's talk a little bit about the grand finals. Uh, yeah. You played against Space, yeah. a fellow Corn player for me. Uh, and, you know, just give me your initial thoughts. What, what did you think about his play? Um, compared to set one in winner's final, mm -hmm. I think he did much better. Yeah. Because he started leg strapping me and stuff with his nair, which uh, became annoying because it became a guessing game. Yeah. I should uh, should I air dodge or should I not air dodge? I could get back air and stuff like that. So it made it a lot harder for me to get back on stage. Um, he also like his juggling is uh, pretty good. It's pretty annoying to play uh, against Corin's up air. Oh yeah, there's so much range and you can also die from it. So uh, I got a little scared. Uh, however, I pulled through and uh, yeah, he yeah, got the got the victory. Yeah. So let's talk a talk a little bit about the Dutch scene as a whole. Because sure. space, you know, space is seventh on our PR, I think. Yeah, at the moment. Um, and we had a lot of, we had a, we had a very, very Dutch top eight today. Yeah. Uh, Woo! Let's go <laughs> to the Netherlands. What do you personally think about like the skill level in the Netherlands and how it's growing right now? Um, so I've been to a lot of different con uh, countries, and mm -hmm. I have to say, skill level of the Netherlands is high, but it's not there yet. I would say like, uh, if you look at Germany, for example, right. Germany has like 15 players that can. Uh, top an event. Yeah, top yeah. an event or get first at an event, you know. Yeah. And the Netherlands has like four or five players that can do that. Uh, same goes for like uh, um, uh, Spain. I've seen, uh, I've, uh, I went to Spain like last week and I've seen the Spanish players and they're pretty good. Like their level is pretty high. However, I still think that uh, the Netherlands is getting there. Like we are getting a lot of good players. And right. I'm enjoying that because the more competition, the better. Semi and Space both yeah. relatively new additions. Yeah. We saw Butter come out today with an amazing new combo game. Yeah. Some new movement tricks. He's Meru traveling all over Europe to improve. Yeah. Uh, so we got a lot of uh, a lot of growing talent. Indeed. Uh, do you? I, I know like as of late you've been going to more locals like counterpick etc cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, yeah. Uh, are you planning to 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 keep that up or is? Uh um, I'm trying to as much as possible. Mm -hmm. I know there's uh, a local on Thursday. However, it's so too far. Yeah. To go so. It, it's too far for a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, I would have went. But uh, right. counterpick is definitely definitely a local that I uh, enjoy visiting. Also meeting like friends and stuff. And mm -hmm. just to like it's there's no pressure at counterpick. You know, you just play because you right. like the game. And uh, you can experiment, like, uh, experiment there, and there's, like, no pressure if you lose right. or anything. So that's why I like country. And the experience of, like, growing together with your country yeah, is indeed. very, very cool, indeed. right? Yeah. And being able to be there and just helping people. And uh, right. there are a lot of people that would like to play me, so being there uh, is, a, is a good opportunity for them to play. Yeah, me. we appreciate you being there, man. Like, show some love for the community. Definitely. Love that. So let's get a little bit deeper into Greninja as a character, right? Sure. Because you are one of the premier Greninja players. And as of late, we've actually seen Greninja make some waves outside of you and the Japanese players. Yeah. There's Stroder who's been stepping up and Venia as well. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about Greninja's place in the, in the meta right now? Because uh, obviously there's a lot of cloud nowadays. There's a lot of Bayo. The DLC is kind of, you know, coming through. What do you think Greninja stands and all that? Is he solo viable? So do you think... Uh, There's so potential. I sold the main Greninja because I just enjoy Greninja more than the rest of the cast. Mm -hmm. I also don't feel that Greninja has really hard counters. It's just like um, against certain characters that y Greninja loses to, you need to find out as a player what works with Greninja. So, for example, uh, normally you would play against Cloud, you play neutral against neutral, but Greninja neutral just doesn't work against Cloud. So you need right. to find another solution. My solution that I had like today against Asriel was like, stay at the ledge. If he comes at the ledge, like even though if he has limit, it doesn't matter, just let him charge because he will get it eventually. Right. So um, just stay at the ledge and try to gimp him. Like gimping is like one of the strongest mechanic that Greninja has against Cloud. Try to make use of that and it worked today. So I'm pretty glad that I did that instead of going neutral against neutral and losing most of the right. neutral. Because this new throw stronger. So, do you feel like Greninja as a character just kind of has to learn more matchups because his normal plan does not really work versus top tiers? Uh, or definitely, because yeah. uh, there are certain things that uh, certain characters can do, uh, and Greninja is different because his profile is low. His uh, he's such a different character. Yeah, he's really to high jumps. Yeah, really to weird jab compared uh, to the grab, rest of the cast. So yeah. you should like. 
play as much as uh, uh, play as much of di as different matchups as possible and try yeah. to find out what works for you as a player but also uh, for your character and do you feel like um the different approaches you have for example versus cloud versus bayonetta mm -hmm. also influence the way you approach greninja as a whole like as a character does um, it reinforce each other or is it really like separated instances of sorry, uh, play sorry, styles could you repeat that right so um Say that normally with Greninja, you go for like Shuriken Heavy, uh, then you wall them out with Forward Air. Yeah. That doesn't work versus Cloud. So you no. devise a new plan to beat Cloud, right? Yeah, indeed. Uh, does like learning those new things, does that, do you apply that to other matchups then as well? Yeah. Or is that very Cloud specific? Definitely, because if you start learning certain things, how to, uh, for example, so my fo main focus is gimping Cloud. Mm -hmm. But while I'm gimping Cloud, I'm also learning how to gimp different characters. Right. You know? So that I'm makes trying sense. to use uh, that as well, as much experience as possible. Because at certain time, for example, I won't be able to gimp Cloud, then I need to um, adjust to another playstyle. Right. And against certain players, for example, Ezreal it worked against, maybe it wouldn't work against Purple Age, or maybe it wouldn't work against... Uh, and then you have to Lydia find a new plan, and, and that will make you better. Yeah, exactly. Indeed. I yeah. get that. And maybe okay. a plan that I used against a different character, for example, against Peach, that works against... Uh, Purple uh, Cloud, Age, for yeah. example, yeah. that's That makes sense. That's very interesting, actually. Um, Kind of a final question on Greninja. Yeah. Do you think he has a matchup that you will need a secondary for to win in the best of five? No. First, I thought that like I thought that Greninja wasn't solo viable, so I tried pr playing different characters, and then I was right. like, there is a possibility that Greninja can be solo viable. Like his worst matchups were like Cloud or are like Cloud, Sonic, uh, whatever. And as I was saying, I started finding solutions against that. Like right. I'm not giving up on Greninja because. Um, his neutral isn't that great compared to other characters, mm -hmm. but there are different ways which make Greninja unique and which his uniqueness makes him better than certain characters. Right, that's, that's very interesting, I get that. Okay, so talking about you as a player, um, most people know you because of your wins versus Issa and MVD, yeah. and later on your upset beating Ally. Um, those were all versus Americans, right? Yeah. Do you have any future plans to go to America to once again try to make your, l like leave your mark on the continent? Um, yeah, I, I really wanted to visit America again. Uh, not just to compete, but also I had a lot of fun there. I made like new friends. Right. And I would like to meet them again and just like hang out and such. But for on a compa uh, competitive level, I also would like to compete there for a longer time instead of like going there for three days and such. Right. So uh, maybe next year I'm gonna try. Like I already saved up and like who wants to join me? join me you know okay yeah. that's cool do you have anything in mind like maybe i've heard frostbite 2018 is going to have an incentive to try to get european players over there um, um anything specific on your part yeah um not, not really to be honest i want to go to frostbite or i still want to go to frostbite mm -hmm. but this time i just don't want to travel alone again you know i get that it's, it's much much more fun if i can travel with a lot of europeans so we can also put our marks there just like japan yeah so. all right so i think that's going to round it out for us um I studying. If you do have any like shout outs, plugs, anything you want to say, go ahead now. Uh, not really shout outs, but shout outs to like, you know, all the other Grand Ninja players. Keep it up. Um, evolve the meta because I know you guys can do it as well as I'm trying to evolve the meta. And Grand Ninja is definitely up there. Um, so don't give up, man. They're, they're, this character is so unique. There's a lot of things you can do with this character. Um, practice a lot. And, uh, right. Yeah. Practice makes perfect. So, guys, be on the lookout for I studying 2018. He's gonna conquer America with his froggy frog. It's gonna be I studying Greninja. You know, know what I'm saying? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We've had a blast here. I hope you had a blast as well. We're gonna be signing out for the last time. My name is Ramses. Joining me is I studying. You can find our Twitter down below if you did enjoy what we delivered today. Guys, have a nice evening. We're gonna be signing out. Good Peace. Night.